Maybe one, one or two more pinch hits. Nope. Okay. Don't wow. pinch yourself. He can still hit just the running part. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I, I need to go back the way you used to in your backyard. I need a ghost runner. Somebody can run for me. There's two guys that still look the same from when they finished playing. That's Sean Green and Nomar. They do. Yeah. No yeah. offense. Well, no, Sean Green looks great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I, I guarantee you he can hit. We just had uh, Corey Seeger and Cody Bellinger <laughs> on the stage. You, you were one of the best shortstops of your generation. What impresses you most about him, and what are you looking to see from him in spring training? Well, one, it, it sounds like he's feeling healthy. That's first and foremost, uh, because I'll tell you, we all know what an incredible talent he is. We've seen him uh, perform, especially in that Dodger uniform, obviously winning Rookie of the Year. Yeah, that, that's not an easy task to do. So if he's healthy, you know, really the sky's the limit. I mean, you just... You, you tell him not to try to do too much. Just be your ordinary self, which is pretty amazing in and of itself. So if he's feeling good, I think that's all that you know the Dodger ownership and the Dodgers teammates care about. When Dave mentioned that Nomar was one of the best hitters of the last 50 years, in 1939, Joe DiMaggio hit 381. In the last 80 years since then, the highest batting average by a right-handed hitter is by this guy, 372. In the last 80 years, that's the highest batting rate. 372, that's all you could do? Yeah, I, there, was, <laughs> there were a lot of line drive outs. But I want you to tell the story. So he's playing for the Red Sox. They're, they're kind of a high demanding, very demanding Ooh. fan base. And it's late July, early August or something. And you had never looked up on the score, but he's flirting with 400. Trying to be the first guy to hit 400 since Ted Williams. And a fan yells out to you, like, right as you were looking up at the scoreboard, because you never look at the scoreboard. Well, uh, what I... What, what I did is I didn't want to see what my batting average. I didn't really worry about the numbers. I really worried about how I felt every single day. I mean, you you, you know you're hitting well. You have an idea. So, because I also what I like to do is at the end of the year I like I I would sit down with my dad at the end of the year. We'd sit down, maybe grab a six pack, but you didn't. Get it. <laughs> and we'd always he'd always say, well, what did you feel like you hit? And that and all, you know we kind of think about the year so I didn't want to know and see how close how I felt compared to what I actually did so I try to avoid not looking at it also I didn't want to put it in my head but there was a pitching change coming up and I was kind of looking up at the scoreboard to see okay who's coming in from a pitching change I'm on deck and it just so happens my average was right next to what, at who was coming in and I glanced and it was funny because it was it said this is end of July. It was 3.98 was the average, and in my head I'm like, man, that's I didn't know that. That's pretty good. <laughs> wow, I didn't know it was 3.98. I was kind of patting myself on the back. I'm kind of smiling, feeling good. And as soon as I'm thinking that in my head, I get a fan that says, "Dumar, 3.98. Let's bleep and go." <laughs> Wow, I was really feeling good about myself, and this guy's crushing me because I'm hitting 398, and it's not good enough. So very demanding, but uh, also humbling at the same time. And uh, yeah, that's that's Boston, and people play there; they they understand. <laughs> no more. Everything that we talked about as far as hitting goes, and everything you were able to accomplish. If you had something to tell the fans, the young kids out there that are playing little league, what would you? What was some of the advice you would give them to try to achieve their dream, achieve their goal of making it not only to major league baseball, but how about just one step further, maybe make the high school baseball team? You know, I, I tell them first and foremost, love it. Actually, the most important thing I know we're talking about hitting in baseball. The most important thing in hit in baseball is actually playing catch. That's what I would tell young. It's playing catch. When you think about it. If you can play catch. You can play anywhere on the field, right? And actually, the team that plays catch the most is and the best is usually the team that wins at any level. We think about even in the big leagues. Usually, the team that makes the least amount of errors, those who play catch, usually are the ones that are up on top. So playing catch for a couple reasons. So I, I even have parents who say, "What can I do with my child to make him better?" I said, "Just play catch with them in the backyard. Just play catch. Don't worry about hitting." I always joke, "Hitting's easy." I know it's not that easy, but at the same time, it is actually a lot easier. But if you can focus on playing catch, one, not only will they always play you, when you think about it, usually that MVP of your league or the little league is usually the guy who's playing shortstop or the guy who's pitching who can play catch. Pitchers play catch better than anybody because they can hit their spot. But the other thing, it keeps you safe as well. Usually most injuries are, are, are done by the ball being hit 
off the bat, especially in Little League, if you're able to play catch, you can avoid a lot of those injuries because you can handle the gloves. So playing catch is the most important thing and you always have a, a place to play in this game. Well, you mentioned that hitting was easy. <laughs> and it certainly looked easy to you as someone to hit 372, 313 for your career. You were a guy, you've told the story, you hated to strike out. I mean, absolutely hated to strike out. Last year in Major League Baseball, for the first time ever, there were more strikeouts than there were hits. When you see the game today, and you teach through EL1 and through the Garcia Baseball Group in the past, what is something that you would teach kids today that maybe you're not seeing in the Major Leagues right now? I would tell them that striking out is no kick. It's not okay. It's actually, I think it's a shame that you have that right now, that you actually had more strikeouts than you had hits in Major League Baseball. Uh, I think there needs to be just maybe a refocus. It's funny, if you look at the team that won the World Series, I know it's hard for us as Dodger fans to hear that, but you actually, exactly, I know. But you actually look at, they struck out the least, you know? And if you look at it in the past, uh, the Houston Astros the year before, we don't want to hear that, they struck out the least. Kansas City Royals, when they won, they struck out the least. Uh, there might be a pattern there. Uh, <laughs> people who put it, put the ball in play, who are focused on that. I'll tell you, making a turn from the dugout to your, I mean, from the batter's box to the dugout is not fun. I hated it. You're right. I hated striking out. You should be embarrassed. That's the way I felt each and every time I struck out, and it and it drove me. And so hopefully. Hopefully it'll start turning. I think this yeah. game, you know, it's an it's an amazing game. It's very cyclical. There's a lot of stuff that comes into it. There's a lot. It evolves, but at the same time, it still goes back to the basics. And one of the basics is you don't strike out. That's something <laughs> you don't want to do. I tell the kids, if you can handle the bat, you can put the ball in play, do that. Don't like striking out. Don't be afraid to attack the first pitch. There's nothing wrong with hitting that first pitch. It's right there. Yeah. Uh, not a lot of people know this, but Nomar was a really good soccer player. He actually was going to Georgia Tech and uh, you were asked to be part of the football team so you're a great example